So the new weekly dividend ETFs have completed my dividend wheel strategy and I'm excited to show you guys how I'm going to implement them into my monthly dividend paying ETFs. So as you can see today, we're, I'm up 1.46% in the portfolio and that's heavily due to Tesla and Tesla going up. In my previous video, I showed you guys how I sold some of my Defiance ETFs and I'm going to explain in this video as well what my plans are for the future with high yielding dividend ETFs. As you can see, Tesla here is up 3.99% in my portfolio, and it is one of my largest holdings. Of course, we saw in the past few months, it's been going down. So like I said, I'm going to explain what my plan really is for the yield max ETFs, the defiance ETFs, as well as the weekly paying high dividend yielding ETFs in my portfolio. So what my goal is for the yield max ETFs, I've currently picked some of my favorite single stock ETFs that yield max offers and I have them in my portfolio. When I do see them run up quite a bit, pretty fast, in a short amount of time, I do like to trim off some of my positions. So once I do get back to my average share cost, if possible, with Tesla, of course, I'm going to trim this position down to about 50 shares in my portfolio. Currently, I have 330 shares. I did that with AMZ. I had a big run up with AMZ ETF and received great dividends from AMZ. I had over 100 shares at one point, and then I trimmed it back to 50 shares. PYPY, great dividends from this ETF, and I'm going to trim off the position when I reach my average share cost again, and have that one at 50 shares. Kony, I did the same as well. I currently have 50 shares. I had over 100 at one point, and now I trim that position, still receiving great dividends from Kony. The two that I've been building up with some of these sales is YMAX and Ulti. So YMAX obviously is the fund to fund ETFs, so I'm going to contribute more to this because I do really like the yield max ETFs and I want exposure to all of them. With investing in YMAX, I get exposure to basically all of them. The two that are not included in YMAX are Ulti and YMAG, but I'm going to hold Ulti in my portfolio as well. Also, I have in here is the Curve Invest TSLP, and you could see that it's up 6.21% today. So this one tracks Tesla stock more closely because they do have higher strike prices for their covered call ETFs. So when Tesla does shoot up 6, 7% in a day, they are able to capture that upside swing. Whereas Tesla here is only up 4% compared to TSLP's 6.21%. And in my last video, I did show you guys, I have QQQY here, JEPY and IWMY. And then I put these down to 50 shares. These investments are usually great to hold for a few months, collect nice dividends, get a nice return over for those next few months if the stock market's going up of course it helps and then you do want to trim some of your positions of course not financial advice this is just what i do in my portfolio is i capture a nice yield from them with a few months and then i like to trim back and allocate that money into other etfs like i do have jepq and jeppy which are a little more safer in my opinion lower yield of course but they have the backing of jp morgan so i decided to trim my defiance etfs and eventually maybe I will sell out of these positions, but I really do like the income coming in every single month and continuing my dividend wheel strategy. So like I said, I have JEPQ here, 28 shares, and JEPB, 27.9 shares, so basically 28. And as well in my other portfolio, M1 Finance, I do have about the same amount of shares in there. So overall, I have about 5K in JEPB and JEPQ, you know, each. And then I do have some speculative plays in here. I'm going to be getting paid today, which is more March 18th from YMAX and Ulti. I'm going to get $120 somewhere around there from those two positions. And then I'm going to be buying some FEPI tomorrow when I receive those dividends and have that cash available in my buying power. You see my position in FEPI is up to 31 shares. So I'm going to get my highest dividend ever in the month of March from FEPI. And I'm very excited about that. What I've been doing with my dividend wheel and how I'm going to implement XDTE and QDTE, which is the weekly paying dividend ETFs, Obviously, these two are going to pay every single week, and that's going to start on the 25th of March is declaration date for these two, which we'll get into in a little bit. But FEPI is usually my last payer of the month, XDTE and QDTE, since they're paying every week. Those two will be able to fund my other positions depending on the timing of the month. So usually it goes defiance, then single stock ETFs by yield max, then we get the fund of fund ETFs, which is YMAX and the ultra ETF, Ulti, and then I usually 
really put that money into FEPI. But with these new weekly paying ETFs, I'm going to be able to use the dividends that I receive every week to maybe put more into the single stock ETFs as well as more into WiMAX and just continue to snowball my portfolio. So I'm excited to add these two in. And then my new recent purchase, which was AAPY, which is the curve version of the Apple income strategy. And you could see this one has been performing very well today, up 2.55%. My average share cost was $24 per share and I have 30 shares. So everything looks good today in my portfolio. You could see Tesla is up 6.55% today. Rivian's up 3.38%. SoFi is up 0.64%. We're going to continue the dividend wheel strategy and document it on this channel. These new weekly paying ETFs, when are they going to start paying? Well, declaration date is 325-2024. So we're in the month of March. To be able to receive the dividend, you'd have to get in on the declaration date or before. So that's 325, 2024. And our first payment will be 328, 2024. And then you're gonna get four dividends in the month of April. So it's gonna be really exciting to see what their yield is going to be. We don't know it yet. And once I do know what their yield is and how much they're paying each week, I'll be able to toss some more money into them because currently I only have 25 shares of each. It's kind of just sitting there. But what I really like about about these ETFs and what I've seen so far is that you can see QDTE, right? This one is for the NASDAQ, which we just took a look at. It's up 1.6% today. And how much is QQQ up today? It's only up 1.28%. They're able to capture this upside, which I like to see because with distributions, very high distributions, as we've seen with defiance ETFs, the NAV usually goes down. There's a NAV decay over time with such high monthly dividends getting paid out. These ones getting paid out every single week, it might be the same. You know, it might even be at a faster rate. But with seeing this, that it's up 1.6% and QQQ itself is up 1.29% today, it shows me that there's a little bit of hope that maybe we, we might have a rising NAV with these ETFs or even stable because they will be distributing a lot of the, the gains that they make from their covered call strategy. A lot of the income that they're getting from their covered call strategy to the investors has to be about about 90%. So we'll see what happens in the future right now. Like I said, I have a small position of these two. And then when they do pay that dividend and we can kind of estimate the yield for the rest of the payments, then I'll be able to either reinvest my dividends or put more money into each. Because with the dividend wheel strategy, we, we started out with only a few ETFs, but now there's these ones that are paying every single week. So I could even take my dividend from Tesla, toss it into QDTE and then make more every single week from that ETF because I have more shares of it. So there's a lot to be excited about with the dividend wheel strategy. And you can see my payout calendar here. My March income is estimated for about $1,100. I hope to get that up when I do my final dividend video for March. We'll add up all my dividends and see how much I made throughout the month. And you can see like throughout the weeks, I'm getting nice payments. I do have to build up my last week of payments. So that's why I I'm building up my FEPI position as well as I'm going to build up these weekly dividend paying ETFs. So you see about $1,100 and I'm excited to receive that money throughout these next few weeks and reinvest and make more and more each and every month and increase my dividend snowball. Just wanted to show you guys this, my plan for the dividend wheel strategy with these new high yielding weekly paying dividend ETFs. And I'm very excited to see that they're going up with the market because they do have those long positions, which are called they buy calls and those are long and bullish calls on the underlying indexes like the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100. So if those go up, these ETFs should go up as well with price appreciation. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.